is where I'm gonna start. It says here that you um, stitch based. You stitch and then you base and then you stitch again. Yeah, I don't do all that. No. Okay. <laughs> That's a lot of stuff to do. There's some easing that needs to go together on that shoulder, just mm -hmm. like we did on the yeah. other. Okay, so they want me to do that too? Mm-hmm, and you have to also, um... Well, we can baste. Okay, I'll do it. I'll just take it out. All right, so basting, the way I'm going to do it, I need to start here at this tick mark, start sewing when I get there. So I'm going to baste, longest stitch length, no knot, and just go up to there. I'm aiming at this spot right there where that pin went in. So I'm going there. When I get there, now I'm going to go to normal stitch length and back stitch. And sew. Oh God, it just moved. I'm going to sew between these two spots. Now I'll baste up to where this pin went in. So go back to basting stitch because these are going to be relieved. Now I'm there. Go back to normal stitch length, put a back stitch in, and now I'm aiming for where this tick mark is. Alright, so let me show you what happened. What I just did. Now typically, I don't do all that. I just don't sew that and don't sew that. But what it is, is I'm going to have sewing here at the end and sewing here. And it's going to create a pleat here, where it gives a person room to breathe. So now, press it all over, and then at the end of the day, I will remove, you can see the basting, because it's fatter. I'll remove the basting, and this will be open in those spaces. All right, so let me get a, um, a label. Uh, well, I'll do that in a minute. Okay, so what do you want me to do now? Stay stitch side back edges of back lining. Okay, so these are the side back edges of the lining. Above waist. Okay, so from the waist up, I'm going to stay stitch, so that's normal stitch length. Thank you. Uh, I want everybody in YouTube land to know Alyssa is filming this blind. We don't have our projector today, so she can't see what she's filming. So I'm getting a good feeling about it, though. Just so they know when they're not criticizing the video. Okay, so we know the waist is right in here where this stitching is. So I'm going to stay stitched down to the waist. The minute I start coming back out, no longer the waist, right? So this one I'll start just below the waist. Okay, so now what? It says ease shoulder edges. Ease the, the shoulder edges between the notches. Okay, go to the largest stitch length, pull off some tails, and between the notches, I'm just going to put, okay, I don't have a second notch. The notch and the triangle. Okay, the triangle is 5 eighths of an inch from that edge because that's where the shoulder mark is. Cut that off. Thank you. Do this shoulder. Okay, so now what? Now you're going to pin side back lining to back lining at side back edges. Okay, Clipping so here's our side lines. back lining, and I'm making sure there's no marks that I need on it. There are not. And how many minutes is that? Five, six almost. Oh, only six, five? Okay. We can go to 20. Okay, so now these, I tend to want to clip this it's first. Mm -hmm. That's what we get from working across from the kitchen. <laughs> and it's why I'm fat. But. Why do they have sweets in the morning? Well, they're working. It's working for me. <laughs> Okay, so now I'm going to lay this here. 
match my notch. You've seen me do this a million times, but I also remember I want to do it on the side where the slashes are, so I make sure I sew. This is my last freaking princess seam. I, I get so sick of princess seams, but they're beautiful and they, they do a good job, but they're a little more involved than just sewing two darts, you know? Okay, keep going. And again, I'm lining them up on the edge. And because of shortening this for Jasmine, this is a serious uh, fitted seam because all the curving is taking place in less space now. So it's a little more severe as a fitting seam. Okay, see how it came out and it ended up at the bottom together? All right, so now we're gonna sew it. Normal stitch length. Yeah, see, I just keep toggling back and forth. But every time I sit down to sew, I look at the machine, what stitch length? I don't wanna do a whole seam and find out I was basting the whole time. Okay, so get these lined up. It doesn't like sewing over the, the pins on this fine, this finer fabric. See how it's kind of, thank you, crawling over them. Thank you. She's known me a long time. That's why she can take them after they've been in my mouth. I just realized I put one in my mouth and stuck it right in your hand. Sorry, I got clean up stuff. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do, thank you, is surge this off. Every one now, I sew it, then I surge it. Did you want us to fill it before you surge it? Oh, right. How about that? Okay. Good point. I'm going to press it on part of it. So everyone can kind of stick their hand in and feel it. Okay, Samantha, do that over. You didn't feel the right thing. There, there, up here. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now I'm going to surge it out, and you'll see the difference. Well, you'll feel the difference. And remember, the whole jacket isn't there anymore. So now, stretch it back out because something in there is tight. Thank you. Oh, that one. Mm -hmm. Now, bring it over. This is open seat. Oh. That is her seat. It's always been Molly's seat. How dare you keep it from her? <laughs> In every class she takes. I'm going to start putting name tags. Apparently now we can't do that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but no new people. Okay, so now you all want to feel, well, that feels rougher because you can feel the surging, but it's less there. And you put it on top. The one I needed you to feel was the one where I graded it. This one actually got worse. Okay, that's it for that video.